Are more women having affairs or are they finally just talking about it? That is the question our next guest poses. Here to talk with us about the podcast, She Wants More, that explores this taboo topic from a woman's perspective is host and journalist, Joe Piazza. Welcome, Joe. Hi, thanks for having me. Happy to have you on. So Joe, I have to know, what intrigued you to have this conversation and create a podcast about female infidelity? You know, we created the She Wants More podcast because I felt like we it was something that we really were not talking about, that the subject of female affairs is very, very taboo. I was also inspired by a woman named Susan Shapiro Barish's book, uh, Passion for More. She's been reporting on women and affairs for the past 30 years. And Susan told me that she's seen a major uptick in women, women having affairs just in the past 10 years. Oh, wow. And why do you think that is? Why are more women having affairs? Oh, God, I think it, there's so many reasons. One of them is that technology has made it a lot easier. When we used to want to have an affair, it would be with someone in your social circle, you know, work, church, you know, another school parent. And now there's entire dating websites out there for people who want to have an affair with someone outside of their marriage. The website, Ashley Madison, uh, they actually gave me some of their numbers, which were really fascinating. They told me that they had seen an increase in women sign ups by 18% in 2022 alone, and that they've got something like 80 million members, which is just a crazy gonzo number to me. So I think technology has made it a lot easier. Also, so many more women are now the breadwinner winners in their family. Uh, they're standing on their own two feet financially. And when you're not risking your entire financial safety net, I think you're more willing to take risks inside your marriage. Okay, that is so interesting to know. And are the women from your podcast, are they sharing their stories anonymously? Or are they more upfront about sharing that who they are? The majority of the women are anonymous. Uh, they change their names. They change some of their identifying details. We did not let anyone distort their voice, though. We told people it was very important to us that they felt comfortable sharing these stories. We didn't want anyone to get in trouble, but we also wanted to make sure that we were creating a podcast that was very real and, and very honest. Uh, and a lot of the women were very eager to share these stories because they've kept them a secret for so long. And the secret has almost been more damaging than any of the guilt that they felt from having the affair. Would you say that men are given a pass while women are more stigmatized and ostracized for infidelity, or is that shifting as well? Men are 100% still given a pass when it comes to affairs. And men having affairs has become just this pop culture punchline. Like, oh, he went to Vegas and hooked up with a stripper at Bob's bachelor party or something. Or, oh, he's just having a midlife crisis. It's just a thing that men go through. Whereas women are very shamed. I mean, if you go back and look at, to famous literature, the majority of women that have affairs in, in novels I mean, end up facing great harm. They they often end up taking their own lives. I mean, nothing good happens to a woman who has an affair um, in any kind, kind of media that I've ever read yeah. or watched. And I think what we're trying to do with this podcast is we're not saying affairs are good or bad. We're going completely non-judgmentally. But what we're saying is that let's just question some of these things we believe, some of the shame and the stigma that we constantly put on women that we do not put on men. Yeah, it's important to have an open conversation about it. On the flip side of this, do men who are cheated on feel the same shame that women feel when being cheated on? Or do you think there's more of a embarrassment there? I think that men that are cheated on absolutely feel the same shame, the same embarrassment, uh, in the same way that I think women cheat for many of the same reasons as men. And we've kind of been conditioned to believe that women only cheat for emotional reasons or for love. And I will tell you, the women that we interview in, in this podcast, we go there with these stories and they are cheating for passion. They are cheating for desire. They are cheating because they want something in the bedroom that their husband is not giving them. Uh, that, in fact, very few of the women that we talked to were cheating for love. So I think that society wants to tell us that men and women cheat for different reasons, that they're hurt by affairs differently. And I think there are so many more similarities across the board that we do not usually discuss. Yeah, a lot of the times when we see affairs or infidelity, it's broadcasted on a large platform in media, whether that's celebrities or professional athletes athletes. Why are we having this conversation right now about women now doing this? 
because I think women are finally more comfortable speaking up about what we need and what we deserve, especially as we're seeing more of our autonomy taken away in other aspects of our life in the political sphere. Uh, I think women want to create a future where we're equal to men, you know, not just in the workplace, but but culturally and socially. Yeah, a lot of a lot of dynamic shifts, like you mentioned earlier on Joe Piazza. Thank you so much for joining us. You can catch the She Wants More podcast on all major podcast platforms.